What's up guys, so today we're going to look at a picture that popped up on Something Bugs Twitter which was taken by a Texas player named ONBS at, I believe, EVO. It was at some event, EVO, or the event that happened in Texas where they could play Pokemon Tournament uh, DX. And this is supposedly the new land mode for Pokemon Tournament DX and what it looks like. So we're going to go through and compare it to what we currently know as the current land mode for Pokemon and see what's different see what we can figure out about it and just general stuff I want to talk about looking at this picture. So starting off, a couple stuff is different that we'll have to point out in case it's not actually land mode. But like you can look at it, it looks extremely like how land mode is laid out in current Pokemon. But it says event mode and not land battle. Also battle settings, not rule settings, it's not that important. The first line, I actually have no idea what that is. <laughs> like none at all. Uh I kind of think I vaguely see time, so maybe that's like, you know, do you want the timer on or off? Other than, I have no idea other than that, I can't tell looking at this what that is, because it's kind of blurry and so far in the back, and I have to zoom it up so it's actually noticeable what this stuff is. Next line is round points, same as current Pokémon, one, two, three, or five. Then, this is the big one. <laughs> so we get to stage, and it's like current Pokémon, well, current Pokémon, it's random or stadium, which if you know, follow me on Twitter or anything like that, you know how much I really want us to move away from just stadium and DX, because I think it's bad, because it's the same state. Like, literally, watching Defend the North last weekend, you basically see stadium for seven hours. The same stage, the same song, on every single match. It, it's not good. It doesn't help the game at all. So, <laughs> my vi is for random, because other games do random but have way worse things, but I get I get the point. Like my example is Tekken. If you play Tekken 7, you get a King or Kazia and you go to Forgotten Temple, they can just zero to death you because okay that's a smash too. Sorry. They can just kill you <laughs> in one combo because they can do four breaks and keep comboing you. And you can do three four breaks in a row on that stage. But double made a good point. I'm not certain of double that's not awesome. I could be wrong there. But someone made a good point that in Tekken, the reason it kind of works is because no matter the stage, you always start equidistance from each other. You're like at the same starting point to your opponent no matter what stage you're on. In Pokémon, the distance you start from each other is farther apart in different stages, which that, that's something they could change and would kind of help that situation, but you're, you're so far spread out. On larger stages, you're definitely farther apart you are than on like Neo City Day, which is one of the smaller stages, you're much closer. So they like standardize that, that'd be cool. <coughs> Anywho, enough of that rant. So, uh, well, you can see the new default. So in Pokémon, all the blue numbers are the default settings, right? Oh, whatever mode you're on. And white is a thing you can choose. The new default, apparently, and I have to re-look up what this actually is. I, oh, it's fixed battle arena. That's right. The new default is apparently, from what Slip said, is called fixed battle arena. So, what that means, anyone guess? So, I have a couple of thoughts. I have two major ones. One, it's an Omega mode like Smash 4. Meaning, all the stages, you'll get every stage, so different music, different settings, different effects, you know, at least be different, but it's all going to be the size of Stadium. Which is kind of, meh, in my opinion. I don't, I don't know. I think it'd be nice to have that extra depth of what each stage does in a match of Pokémon, but... Some people are against it. I, in my mind, it's like you play on all these stages online anyway, so you're used to all the stages because you have to be if you're practicing this game. If you play with someone on the lobby, you can't pick just stadium. You get random stages, so you practice all the stages except two. That's what I think this could be. It could be like what the way ranked is right now. Ranked and online are. So you don't get either of the Coliseum stages. Dark Coliseum is a bad one because it's the one that has the giant synergy sphere in the center. Or is it final? What? One of the Coliseum, I'm pretty sure it's dark. One of them has a giant thing where you stand in the middle, takes like two seconds to get full synergy. It's stupid. <laughs> so, on ranked in an, a friendly lobby, you will never get that stage. It will just keep randomizing, but it will never pick that stage. So I think there's a chance that this could be that. So it could be all the random stages, minus those two. Maybe. Who knows? Next, you have skill level on or off. The same. Controller settings is the same. Something important is the select battle controller. Why this is important, right? And something you can see in the top right of the screen, you see like they're using a uh, OEU oh, sorry, Switch Pro Controller. It's player one. So why that's important is uh, 
In current Pokémon, say you play with a Pro Controller on the Wii U, right? You finish your match, you don't back all the way out, you go to the screen and play Controller Elite. Guess what happens? The next person that comes, can't do, they can't do anything. They can't move it at all because it's locked to the controller you were using. Really stupid. But the Switch is kind of better about that anyway. But hopefully, what I'm hoping this is, is if someone does that, you don't have to go all the way back out and then start it. Because people don't know. You hold both the triggers down and start. That's how you open land mode and poke it. A lot of people don't know that. So with this, you can go back out to this screen take off your controller. Someone else can sit down, plug theirs in, and be like, oh, it's on a different controller. I'll just select mine, we're good to go. Sometimes it's like, you can move in this menu, you go to the next menu, you can't move at all. That also happens on the Wii U version, so hopefully they dealt with that. Um, and then search for opponents using these settings, battle with these rules. So, kind of an update of what that would say. So like, this makes me, it's a good chance this is land mode. Like, it fits, it's the same thing. It's like that online lobby, unless this is somehow an online thing, which it could be. But it it looks like and fits very well to land mode. I don't know what that first menu is. That first option confuses me. I really wish I could know what that is, but I have no idea. My guess, like I said, it kind of looks like the last word is time. That's just a guess. It's blurry as hell. I can't tell. But yeah, that's that's it for this. So this is exciting. If this is what this is, I hope, I hope it is. This is very good if it is that something other than stadium. I just, I, I really really think if Pokémon DX is stadium only again, it's going to hurt the game. I know people are like, but I want a fair and equal... So I think it's better for competitors to learn to play on all the stages and to deal with all the stages than it is to play on stadium. I think playing stadium only... Like, I... When I hear stadium now, just hearing the song makes me think of competitive Pokémon. But I also hate the song because I hear it all the time. <laughs> like, it's not even a bad song. You just hear it for seven hours for one event. If you're watching a stream, that's all you hear. Like, it, it's a problem. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think the settings are, if you want to, in the comments. I hope to catch you guys in the next one.